Hi everyone, Marguerite here. I don't usually make videos where I open something um, while I'm recording, but I have these two envelopes from two really extraordinary artists and I thought it would be fun to open them on film. And these two artists are sisters, which is very unique in itself because very often siblings don't share um, the same interests and uh, these two wonderful people do. So I want to open this little one first. I will explain how um, I am exchanging mail with them at the end of the video, but um, I'll go ahead and get started. So on this side it's 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 an envelope and there's a little bit of stitching here if you can see it in this the pink over here and then all of so over here and all around there's stitching on top and the whole envelope has a kind of a stitching around it too which is really neat so if i take off this is just a piece of wax paper for protecting the paper from the from the wax seal I think if I try and pull this string, it's not going to really help because it's attached to the to the um, wax seal. So I think I have to pull it off this way. Okay, so now I'm going to move this over so that I can. Open it up this way. So inside I have a bunch of things I'll go through in a minute. Here's what the envelope looks like and again it's got the stitching all around it. Now, what do we have here? This looks like a matchbox. Goodness. I'm going to open it up. Aha, stamps. How cute is that? The if the box is lined with a piece of have paper in the back and then this is folded down and um, sewn around which is super super cute okay here I'm not sure exactly what the original purpose was this one Look at that. So I have all kinds of cigar bands. Wow. These are all originals. And again, all hand sewn around, well not hand sewn, uh, machine sewn all the way around. Neat. Here's another little booklet. Slides off. It's got a little flower on there. Oh wow, wonderful things it says. How fun is that? Some stamps and I'm not sure what these are. Probably from cigarette cigarette boxes. <laughs> A 
both of these artists are from the Netherlands. And then down here we have some prints. Let's take that off. Oh look, it's a um how do you call it? A paper clip with a windmill. That's neat. Yeah, and these are trade cards. Again, they are in the local language. Very cool. Then I've got some washi tape on a vintage card of, looks like there was wool fiber at some point. <laughs> and my note, it's on a postcard that she made. Does it spark joy? That's funny. Nice. So I'm going to read that later. This is from Angelique, who is from... She has her name is Paperique on Instagram, and I'll uh, provide more information about who they are and about their shop also and Instagram. So that is from Angelique. And then I have this one. That there is a E on this wax seal. This is for E is for Edith. And she sent me this one. So again, I'm going to slide it off because the wax seal is attached to the paper and I don't want to tear it. So I think I'm going to have to bend this a little bit and just work it slowly off. So it's stuck on there so I'll just leave it and then do this so lovely make sure there's nothing else in that bag before I set it aside well, look at this. Goodness gracious. Greetings from the Netherlands. Quite a bunch of beautiful layering here. So let me open this up. Hmm. Well, there's no way I'm going to cut that with scissors. So let me see if I can slide it off without having to ruin it. Ah. There we go. So this seems to be, is it a pocket? No, oh my gosh, look at this. So it is, it's hard to even show you. It is a huge piece. It opens like this. So it looks like if you pull it down like this, it was two pieces of paper inside a book and the center or the the connecting the two papers were taken out at one time and folded so that it would make a single piece and then there is some stitching all the way around and let's start with over here first so I'm gonna come back again 
up close so we can see the details. So we've got some more of these beautiful cigar bands. Wow. Oops. To go this way. How funny. That says Washington. But isn't that Emperor Franz Josef? Why would I'm wondering why it says Washington if that's not Oh, well, what is that flag? I don't know what that is, but that does not... That looks like Franz Josef. I don't know why that says Washington. <laughs> it's kind of funny, actually. Um, these are fascinating. One of Amsterdam. Neat. So we've got some little bits of ephemera here. Wow. Some paper with writing on it. Ledger paper. Neat. Front and back. And a really cool envelope. Okay. So that was here. Nice things, it says. Right. So if I go back, there's going to be, there's a pocket on this side. And then on the front side, it's folded down a bit, but looks like it was collaged first and then folded down and then the layer on top of additional collaging. That's really something. Really something. So let's go to this front. Wow. My goodness. This is really, really amazing. To Marguerite Miller. Here is my note. Okay, I'm going to read this after. But this is from Edith in the Netherlands. What she made for me. Isn't that amazing? Totally, totally amazing. Okay, so these pockets are just the coolest thing ever. So it's ledger paper, old ledger paper, and then sewn, folded, or actually folded first, then sewn, um, and embellished. Really, really pretty. Inside I've got stamps 50, 70, 70, 80, typical Dutch. I'm wondering maybe these are from the 1950s to the 1970s. 1970s, 1980s, and typical Dutch. Wow. Okay. How, I wonder, how do they do this? How does she do this? It's, um, a typewriter? It's such a large font. It's interesting. And then in here, more things, more cigar bands on the back, a beautiful stamp from the Netherlands. Wow, look, and these cigar bands have playing cards on them. Ernst Casimir. So, so cool. Okay, I'm going to set those here. Inside, let's look at the envelope first. That ledger paper full of fingerprints and smudges and lines through. That's so cool. You can see how it was folded over and then sewn all the way around. And inside again there are more trade cards. These are gorgeous. 
Beautiful trade cards. Hmm. Wow. This one's not a trade card, but I don't know where that where that came from. Maybe a game of some sort. And then the last one. Beautiful. 1901, it says there. Stamps, 10 to 40, 40 to 50, Inflation Germany. <laughs> wow. I, I have to ask, I really have to ask, how do they, how do you do that? How do you do this, Edith? Tell me. Is it a typewriter or do you print it out? You manage to get it typed on this little tiny piece of paper that you put on here. Amazing. Right, so these are wonderful. Thank you so much to Edith and Angelique. It's going to be my turn to send something back, and I'm really going to have to think really hard uh, what I'm going to send back because these are really amazing. Oh, actually, I just remembered we have a second pocket here. Postcard and some beautiful book pages. Maybe it goes this way. And more of that ledger paper, I bet. Wow, 1905. Beautiful. Look at how big that piece is. Can't even get it all on the camera. Whoa. Pretty old stuff. So yes, I'm going to have to think long and hard about what I can send back. So let me tell you a little bit about how I know these wonderful people. I um, love Instagram. I, I like it a lot because it's very low-key. You can post or not post, um, and even if you don't post, it's so great to look and see what other artists are creating, what they're doing. So I'm on Instagram and I use it entirely for art purposes. I um, share my art there and love seeing new artists and what they're doing pretty much on a daily basis. Um, I do some mail exchanges and those have been really, really great. Um, so they, these two artists they go under the names Paper Talking and Paper Eek, and I will put those names in the description box so that you can follow them as well, um, because both of them make really extraordinary things. They work together and have a little shop called Paper Eek and Co. And in the shop, they sell a lot of the small things um, that you see see here actually things like stamps and um, small uh, trade cards and things uh, things like that so ephemera vintage ephemera basically so if you're interested in that sort of thing um, go and check it out and see if there's anything that you would like so thanks for watching and Maybe I'll see you on Instagram. Bye.